Today we're talking about what arguably could become the biggest airdrop we've ever seen in the crypto space. Now I know that's a big saying, but hear me out, I'm gonna explain why. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to farm this airdrop. If you enjoy the content, obviously smash a like and subscribe down below. But you might have guessed it, we are talking about Blast today, which is a new Ethereum layer two with native yield for ETH and stable coins. Currently have over 700,000 followers on Twitter. They are extremely hyped and they just yesterday announced that the launch and airdrop will be happening on june 26th so we still have well over a month to farm this airdrop they did initially plan to do the launch and airdrop in may and they basically said we know this is past our initial estimate of may and we're sorry about the delay but the airdrop allocation will be increased to account for this and there will be two final dap gold distributions before the airdrop so we still have time to earn some blast points and blast gold to get the blast airdrop happening june 26th and if you didn't know this is created by pac-man who also created blur and blur season one was obviously maybe the biggest airdrop we've ever seen in the space it was absolutely massive people got airdropped six figures which is absolutely nuts and right after launch blur traded at over two billion dollars market cap so pac-man is seen as a very respected person in the space he knows what he's doing and it seems like he really wants to make this one of the biggest airdrops ever in the space which is why i feel like a lot of people are not paying enough attention to blast because let's be honest we have seen a lot of big airdrops flop recently where the price has just crashed and the airdrops have been a lot less than people were expecting so I feel like people have just written off Blast expecting it to do the same thing but that's why there's such a big opportunity on Blast right now because so many people have written it off meaning that the people that are still farming it actively will get a bigger allocation for this airdrop. So how exactly will the Blast airdrop work? How can you farm it and how can you make some good money from it? So the first thing you want to do is go to Blast.io in their airdrop section. You need to sign in link your Twitter account and your Discord account and you need an invite code so I will leave my invite code down below if you haven't signed up yet and you can join the Blast airdrop on this dashboard you can see your points your multipliers your Blast gold and you can see all the dApps that are currently giving out gold and points so you can see exactly how much Blast gold has been distributed and is yet to be distributed from each one of these steps. And then if you go to gold jackpot, you also have this jackpot lottery system where basically every block, there is a small chance of a token or NFT will win the jackpot's gold. Holders with winning tokens or NFTs in their deck will earn gold based on their balance. So if you hold any blast tokens or any blast NFTs, you will every single block be able to win a gold jackpot. Now quickly about how the blast points actually work, you have Blast Gold and Blast Points, and the airdrop will be distributed 50-50 between Blast Points and Blast Gold. So as you can see, 50% of the Blast airdrop is allocated to Blast Points. Your wallet will earn points automatically every block based on your ETH, WETH, or USDB, which is their stablecoin balance. So basically, the more ETH or stablecoins you hold on the Blast chain, the more points you will earn every single block. And then you have Blast Gold, which in my opinion is more interesting and probably the more efficient way to earn points unless you're like a massive whale that can deposit millions of dollars onto blast but basically 50 percent of the blast airdrop is allocated to blast gold gold is for dApps decentralized applications and unlike points gold is distributed manually the blast incentives committee will distribute gold on a two to three week cadence and announce publicly once gold has been distributed so blast will be distributing gold to different applications and the applications will then distribute it however they want to their community and then you can also make some points by referring people so obviously if you enjoy this video as I said I will leave my referral link down below would highly appreciate it if you use that one but let's dive into a few applications that are quite effective for earning blast gold so that you can earn some gold and make some money from this airdrop first up we have DTX which is a perpetual dex on blast making it super easy to trade all sorts of crypto assets or altcoins with leverage without using a centralized exchange basically trading eden for dgens derivative trading exchange for dgens built on blast 100 blast airdrop full gas refund dtx token rewards because they will actually be launching their own dtx token as well so you are actually farming two airdrops in one right here you're farming blast but you're also farming the dtx token itself they currently have 50,000 followers and they are one of the biggest perp dexes on blast right now and if we go to the blast leaderboard you can see that dtx have only 
only distributed approximately half of their gold. So they still have a lot of gold to give out to their community. And basically the way to earn gold is mainly by trading on their platform. So as you can see, they have all sorts of tokens and you might be asking, well, these tokens aren't on Blast, so how can you trade them? Well, they're basically just using Pyth, which is one of the biggest oracles in the space to gather all the prices every single second. So the prices will always be accurate. They have a lot of liquidity and they also have the lowest slippage on Blast, making it the best trading platform on Blast. I personally love using Perp Dexes for trading trading with leverage instead of centralized exchanges because I'm not a big fan of KYC, etc. So it just makes it so easy to be able to connect my wallet and make trades on a DEX like DTX. And obviously on Blast, there's basically no gas fees either. So you don't have to worry about expensive gas fees like with Ethereum because Blast is basically gas free. And if we go on to this Medium article by DTX, you will see exactly how to earn Blast Gold as well as their own DTX fuel, which is points for their upcoming DTX token. So there are several ways to earn DTX fuel season one, basically trading, earn fuel by trading on DTX. The more you trade, the more fuel you will earn across all listed peers. You also have referrals, invite friends to the platform and earn fuel based on their trading activity. So again, I will obviously be leaving my referral link down below. So if you're interested in DTX, would highly appreciate it if you checked out that link. And then Blast Gold, for those unfamiliar, is a special token act as a grant within the Blast ecosystem designed to incentivize the growth of the centralized applications, basically how you will earn their airdrop. And starting April 24th, DTX will allocate Blast Gold to traders and liquidity providers with a distribution ratio of 75% to traders and 25% to liquidity providers. So if we go back to the platform, you have vaults right here where you can provide liquidity and also earn blast gold but obviously the main way to earn it is by trading on their platform it's a great way to trade perpetuals they have up to 50x leverage on all sorts of altcoins a lot of different meme coins as well since their launch they've done over 1.7 billion dollars in trading volume which is really really impressive so dtx is the first way to earn blast gold but you're also earning the DTX fuel for their own DTX token airdrop that should be coming later this year. Now next up we have Pacmoon which is kind of the community token of Blast because obviously the founder of Blast and Blur is Pacman so they created Pacmoon as kind of a community token. It is currently live and trading at 50 million dollars in market cap but they're still doing more airdrops for their Pac token and you can also earn Blast gold by farming Pacmoon. Currently they are on airdrop number four, so it says right here you didn't qualify for airdrop three, but you can still start boosting your score for airdrop number four. So these are some different ways to earn it, but I wanna focus on the way that doesn't cost any money, you don't need any money at all, which is by creating content. You can create content on Twitter and tag Pacmoon, and if Pacmoon themselves, basically their Twitter account, likes or engages with your tweet, you will get points based on how many impressions that tweet gets. So you can see that Beeple is first right here by with just four tweets. So it's not actually about quantity as it says right here, it's more about quality. So this is for actual content creators and not just farmers that tweet all sorts of random stuff. But create content about Pacmoon and tag Pacmoon in it. If the Pacmoon account likes your tweet, it is eligible to earn Pac tokens. The more views your tweet gets, the more Pac you earn. And then they have some content guidelines. I will leave all of these links down below so you can check it out yourself. But if you enjoy making content and interesting tweets, etc., and want to make tweets about Pacmoon, this is another great way to farm both Pack tokens, but also Blast Gold. And if you've been around the Blast ecosystem recently, you have most likely heard about Fantasy Top, which is kind of a card game or deck game on Blast. It's a social fi project where you can gather cards from your favorite influencers, put them into a deck and compete in tournaments. And your and obviously the better and more engaging influencers you have in your deck, the better you will do in these tournaments and you will earn fantasy points for their upcoming fantasy top token as well as blast gold. So for this one as well, you will be farming two different airdrops, the fantasy airdrop itself as well as blast gold. So you can buy packs currently worth 0.34 Ethereum. You have the marketplace where you can buy your favorite influencers. So you have Ansem, you have Greg, you have 
all sorts of influencers that you can buy and sell right here. And then you can compete in the tournaments once you have your deck ready. To be honest, I have not been very active with Fantasy Top. I have just experimented with it a little bit, but it is a super interesting game and application. And it kind of makes farming fun because you can also actually make a lot of money by trading these influencers. There's been a lot of people that have made like really good amounts of money just by trading influencers, opening packs, doing tournaments. And that's why this has gotten so much attention as well. So if you want a full breakdown of the game itself, I will leave a link to a better tutorial down below. I'm not going to be able to go through everything in this video because it would just be a bit too long. But Fantasy Top should also be one of the most efficient ways to earn Blast Gold as of right now. And then you do have a lot of other applications that you can earn gold from as well as other airdrop points because a lot of these applications will also launch tokens of their own. You have, for example, District 1, which is another social fi game kind of project. You have NFT Perp, which similar to DTX is a perpetual DEX, but instead of for all coins, it's for NFTs. So you can actually trade NFTs with leverage using NFT Perp as well as earn Blast Gold. Then you have, for example, Crypto Valleys, which is a GameFi project built on Blast. And look, there's too many applications that you can earn gold from for me to go through all of them. Basically, if you go to the Blast IO website, you can see all the applications right here that you can use to earn Blast Gold. So you can use whichever one you want to, but I decided to feature the ones I found the most interesting and that I've heard the most about and that a lot of people are using in this video. But obviously I recommend you to check out all of these different applications and just use the one you find the most interesting or if there's applications in here that you would use anyway on a day-to-day -day basis, you might as well use them on Blast to get the Blast Gold for the upcoming airdrop coming on June 26th. Now look, could Blast flop? Absolutely, like we've seen so many other airdrops that were supposed to be massive just absolutely flop once it launched. But I really believe in Pac-Man. I think he's a super smart guy. He's pulled it off once with Blur Season 1. And I really think he's going to try to pull it off again with Blast. So obviously, as I said, you do have over a month to farm Blast. I definitely think it's worth getting involved just for the tiny chance of this being the biggest airdrop we have ever seen in the crypto space. Now again, I will leave all of my referral links down below. So if you want to check out any of these applications and you got any value from this video, I would highly appreciate it if you used my links down below in the description. If you enjoy this sort of content, obviously smash a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comment section if you are farming Blast and different ways you are farming Blast. Let me know what you want to see next on this channel. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter, join my Telegram, Telegram, join my Discord, check out my preferred exchange, CoinW, down below. With that said, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.